Hi guys, this is my review of the Xenazen Mod 10 Android 4.2 for the Galaxy Note 2 GT N7 100. So as of now, we don't have the official Android 4.2 for the Note 2. So just to experience the 4.2 features, we can get custom ROMs. So this is the Xenazen Mod 10 Nightly's. As it's an AOKP build, we don't get the TouchWiz and the Note 2 features like the S-Pen functions, motion controls, multi-window and so on. New add-ons have been done to the Android 4.2. So let's go ahead and see what's new. The first one is the multi-user support. You get something called user in the settings menu. If you tap it, you'll get this multi-user support. This means multiple user can use the phone with a completely new phone for each user. From lock screen to security, apps, photos, accounts and so on. One user cannot view the other user's pictures or apps or anything. But this add-on is good for tablets only, as we don't share our phones. For more detail on it, click on the link that pops up right now. The next one is the lock screen. You can add up to 4 widgets to your lock screen. And you can use that app directly from your lock screen as well. Notification bar as well have been modified. Pull down your notification bar with a single finger, you'll get your general notifications. And pulling down it with your two finger, you'll get your general toggles. That means you'll get your general settings for your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS and so on. Now the keyboard as well have been updated. You get the glide feature that is similar to the swipe and it works great. The next cool feature is the daydream, it's a screen saver and which can be modified. You can use it while charging or while docked or both. You can choose your screen saver whether you want the clock or the picture from your gallery. Camera has also been updated with added functions for a single hand use, if you touch and hold it you'll get options to rotate your camera, zooming it or zooming out and flash. You also have Photosphere. What it does is, it lets you take a series of photos and combines it together to form a 3D kinda image. Just to show you, I have taken this pics and let me show you how it works. It's not perfect though, it's a cool feature to have. In the settings menu, you don't get the developer options. So to get it, go on to menu, hit settings and scroll down, go to about phone, hit the build number 7 times and go back and now you can see the developer options is available now in the settings menu. So guys, you do get the Android 4.2 features. So now coming on to the ROM, you do get some pre-installed apps but you don't get the Samsung apps and the TouchWiz functions as I've already mentioned. You don't have the additional apps like the Learning Hub, Music Hub and Bloatwares like that. That means this ROM consumes very less memory and the ROM is really fast, really light. And this ROM gives an excellent battery life. You'll get around 20 to 25 hours of battery on heavy uses. Wi-Fi connected continuously, 2-3 hours of music, 2-3 hours of browsing, 2-3 hours of talk time. So that's amazing. So let's go ahead and see what do we get with this ROM. You have this add away, you have this Apollo music player, works fine, I have tasted it. You have this DSP manager which works with the Apollo music player. DSP manager is like Beats Audio which enhances your music experience. The camera works fine, I have already shown you. You have this memo, you have this float note. While multitasking you can take any note. You have the terminal emulator, total commander voice search. You don't get the S voice, you, but you do get the Google now. 
and it works okay here you have it so guys the rom is really fast really smooth everything works all the apps that you get with this rom works perfect so guys on the menu settings you have this uh, interface options where you can customize your rom say for example you can customize your launches and this drawer menu you can you know customize your transitions and so on you can go ahead and check it out you can also you know customize lo your lock screen for example battery status uh, always on so you'll get your battery percentage displayed on your lock screen as well you can uh, customize your slider shortcuts you can add apps to it so you can directly open up that app you can also customize your power button if you long press the power button what options do you want to get because you don't have the s pen function so if you want to take any screenshot you need to enable this uh, screenshot so uh, now if you long press the power button you'll have that options okay screenshot so other than that guys all the apps that you get with this rom works perfect no crashes no lags no memory leaks so if you want to experience android 4.2 i'll definitely suggest you to flash this rom and let me know how you feel about it so that's all guys thanks a lot for watching stay subscribed bye bye now and have a good day